Just four weeks until the 2024 primary season kicks off, and in one key battleground, President Biden is getting big warning signs from a group that helped him win in 2020. Shaquille Brewster spoke to some young voters in Wisconsin. I voted for Biden, and I told my friends to as well. Evan McKenzie is a Starbucks worker and union organizer in Madison, Wisconsin, who cast his very first presidential ballot for Joe Biden. Do you plan on voting for him this time, Laura? Uh, no. No, not, not anymore. The 23-year-old was part of the surge in young voters in the liberal Dane County that helped Biden flip the battleground state three years ago. He's now angry at the president over his support for Israel's invasion of Gaza. He is allowing this war to happen and, and is funding this war. I don't know what will happen if I don't vote for him, but I know it won't be me supporting that. In 2020, Election Day exit polls showed young voters backed Biden over Donald Trump by more than 20 points. But a recent NBC News poll shows former President Trump leading this group by four percentage points and President Biden at risk of losing a key part of his winning coalition. Do you plan on voting for him in November? I don't know. 60% of young voters say they oppose more funding and military aid to Israel. On climate, uh, on COVID responses, you could tell he, his and his administration were doing uh, really great work. But I think after October 7th, the question became a matter of, of human rights. Republican presidential candidates have also vocally supported Israel's campaign against Hamas. But it's President Biden's young progressive base that's been increasingly sympathetic to Palestinians. Did all of you vote for Biden in 2020? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Supporting Mr. Biden is a conversation, sometimes a debate, that this group of Wisconsin friends say they are now having regularly. He has the lar largest infrastructure bill since Eisenhower. I mean, that's a huge thing. N not, not enthused. Uh, I'd say overall I feel very pragmatic and strategic about it. In 2020, I looked at Biden like a used car, like it will disappoint me. It's not going to have leather seats and it's not going to have all the stuff that I want. But I mean, hopefully it'll get me from point A to point B. And I think he did that. An easy choice for some. What's the best argument that you have for young voters to support Joe Biden? The other guy is way worse. <laughs> it's that simple. I, I think it is. Young voters who can tip the balance in 2024 already weighing their options. Shaquille Brewster, NBC News, Madison, Wisconsin. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.